Welcome to this short video series, which aims to equip you with all the information you need to make the best decision on how to use that retirement money of yours. You've worked for many years and you've hopefully saved a little or a lot, but now you need to figure out how you can make that money last you through all your retired years. My name is Giselle Willows. I'm an academic at the University of Cape Town and founder of Nudging Financial Behavior, a company that aims to help individuals like you understand money matters better. And of course, to nudge you into making good decisions around money. So who is this video series for? It's for everyone. For those who are over the age of 55 and retirement is creeping up on you, it'll be useful for you to understand what your options are going to be when you reach that retirement date. For those that are younger and are planning to reach financial freedom, similarly, you might find it useful to know how you're going to make that fire money last. And for those of you who haven't even thought about retirement yet, well, maybe you should. Or maybe your parents are sitting in that first category and perhaps you can learn some things that might help them. No matter your age or your current season of life, you need to be thinking about retirement. It's meant to be an exciting prospect for us all, right? Loads more free time for all your hobbies, for spending time with friends and just doing whatever you want to do. But because you might not be working full time, you need to ensure that you're generating an income somewhere that can cover your expenses. Even if you do continue some kind of work in retirement, which is usually a very good idea, you still need to think carefully about how you use your precious retirement savings to support you. So, what are we going to cover in this series? First, we're going to talk about how much cash you can withdraw from your retirement savings. There are some important tax considerations there. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it nice and easy for you. Next, we're going to talk about what you do with the leftover retirement savings. You might not necessarily be able to withdraw it all. If that's the case, there's going to be a lump sum left over that you can buy an annuity with. We're going to discuss these options. At the end of the series, it is my hope that you'll have enough objective information to be well informed about all your options. We're not going to overcomplicate things. I'm going to keep them as simple as possible. But I want you to be in the driving seat at the end of the series. Knowledge is power. There are another seven videos after this one. They're short and packed with information. Watch them one by one and get informed about all your options on retirement.